All right, this is by request. Someone had asked me to take a look at something new or something new for me. It's called uh, Black Lab Linux. Uh, someone had sent me a request. I forget your name. Sorry about that. And I believe this is based um, this is based off the XFCE desktop environment. Like I said, this is totally new to me. But let's go take a look here and see what this is all about. It's um, I believe it's blacklablinux.org. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's see. Black Lab Linux is a custom Linux distribution compatible with Ubuntu LTS, so it is a long-term support. That's good. And it aims for ease of use, powerful, and robust uh, Linux platform for the general user as well as the power user. Now you have some subheadings here, home screenshot, system essentials, why Black Lab Linux. Apparently here says Windows XP upgrade. This You may want to consider this as, a, as an upgrade to your aging Windows XP system. Let's take a look at why Black Lab Linux real quick. I think that's a fair question. Alrighty. Well, Black Lab Linux, it says here, Black Lab Linux is the only Linux distribution that truly focuses on ease of use for the general computer user. Uh, the only Linux that focuses on ease of use. Well, that's interesting. Uh, we can serve as an introduction to the world of Linux, and we are there for the countless millions of users that discover Linux each day. Okay. Uh, let's see here. It looks like they have four pillars of consistency or usability, rather consistency, dedication, functionality, ease of use. Uh, let's take a look at this consistency. Let's see here. Uh, in Black Lab Linux, we offer one of the most popular desktop managers, XFCE. Um, if you work in a corporate or education environment, Black Lab uh, Linux demands very little retraining, and many of your applications either have a superior open source equivalent of your commercial application or those applications can be run under several different emulation types alright let's see dedication with Windows and Mac OS you get great support well you get support from Microsoft or Apple I'm sure it's great uh, let's see with Black Lab Linux you get the same type of dedication that you get with Microsoft or Mac OS X alright cool uh, let's see functionality most Linux distributions Ubuntu Fedora Linux Mint, OpenSUSE don't come with any multimedia playback possible, really? Okay. I'll let you guys comment on that. Ease of use, Black Lab Linux is designed for users by users. All right, so it seems this is designed for the beginner. At least that's the gist I get of this. So let's take a look and uh, see what we have. All right, this is the default desktop here. Now I will not be installing this. I'm sure this has an automatic installer if it's based off Ubuntu. All right, panel at the top for desktops live user session all right Bluetooth this is crash report detected all right well I haven't installed or ran all the updates so that's normal let me get out of that okay let's keep going this is volume control mute slider let's go to the sound settings and I believe yep this is going to be easy to navigate to and through if you are familiar with Ubuntu, Zubuntu, stuff like that and your email client. All right, of course, the time date calendar. And I believe with this, you can right click and add little uh, applets as they are called new items, plugins. This, uh, this I really like. Uh, let's see the usual here. Let's try trash. And if you look at the top right, there's a little trash icon there. All right, cool. All right, so we have installed Black Lab Linux. Okay, the trash computer shortcut. Okay, this is not not all. This is Dunar. Okay. All right, and you have a panel here at the bottom, which if you don't want this, you can delete this. But you have the trash icon here, uh, workspaces, web browser. Uh, let's see, sticky notes or notes, and the uh, yeah, the file manager. Okay, very easy. I noticed that the buttons are on the left. I prefer them on the right. And this is, what is this? Minimize, restore windows. Okay, as I stated, um, if you wanted to eliminate the bottom, the bottom panel, if you don't want it, you can just um, go to the, let's see, panel properties and delete the panel. And there you go. If you wanted a more cleaner desktop, it's certainly not necessary to do that. But let's take a look at the applications real quick. All right, this has something <clears throat> something called the whisker menu. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
nice little search bar there. Okay. Type in music, Clementine comes up. A nice music player, by the way. All right, cool. Let's keep on going. Let's go to the right here. All. Accessories. Now, this is running very quickly in your virtual box. Games. Steam OS installed. Well, you can get that installed if it's not installed to play all your games. Graphics. All right, the GIMP, very good. Uh, let's see, Internet, Chromium is very nice. I also like uh, Firefox and Opera, Dropbox, FileZilla, uh, Internet Messenger, of course I mentioned Steam, Thunderbird Mail is very nice, Transmission and XChat. All right, Multimedia. I'm looking for, yeah, there it is. VLC is installed by default. It should be installed really by default in both your Linux and or if you're running Windows. Office is probably has LibreOffice, very nice. Settings, additional drivers, Bluetooth manager, and so forth. Okay, screen saver. All right, seems easy enough. System, uh, backup, GW package manager, very nice package manager to install your downloaded dev files. Parental control, cool. Printing, configure printers. You can make a startup disk creator, the synaptic package manager, some other stuff. All right, let's go to the task manager. Uh, memory usage appears low, 16%. And I think that's all of it. Well, this appears fast, it appears stable, it appears lightweight, and this is certainly a consideration if you wanted to upgrade, uh, if you have an old machine with little RAM and wanted to upgrade from your aging Windows XP, you may definitely want to take a look at Black Lab Linux. Uh, thank you once again to that person who suggested it, so I will have links below in the show notes. Final reminder here, if you haven't already, please vote. I'll have links below. Please vote if you would, would you buy a Linux uh, PC, a Linux computer? And if you have bought something new recently, a piece of technology, and would like to share it with us, please do. Like, yeah, I now have, as I stated, all the links below in the show notes. All right, well, I need to take some cough medicine. But as for this session here, thank you so much for watching and listening. And as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future.